Hi everyone, I am Jay Leonard J, and this is the Keeley Compressor Pro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Keeley Top 3. Three days, three pedals, and my top three favorite settings on those pedals. Today, we are focusing on the Keeley Compressor Pro, which, in my personal opinion, might be my favorite. I think it sounds absolutely beautiful, and I got the Velcro on it just to prove exactly how much I've been using this sucker since it's come in. In fact, the first time I actually like played this pedal in reality was down in Winter Nam. That was back in January. And I liked it so much, I had to come back like the next day, play it again, and I got Robert to like run to his van and grab me an extra one of these to take home because there was no way I was actually gonna leave Anaheim without it. It's just that good. So, you know, you're looking at this thing, it has all the accoutrements that you would want. You got the attack, you got the release, you can control the ratio from a nice gentle kind of compression all the way to like a hard brick wall limiter. You could adjust the knee, uh, or if you just wanna just play and rock out, put it on automatic and just strum to your heart's desire with that beautiful compression, making you feel at home and safe. For all you people that feel like compression is just killing your tone, uh, this might be the sauce for you. It adds to compression, but it really leaves your guitar tone alone. It has a wonderful, unique attack characteristic to it as well. That's why there's no blend knob on it. You don't need it. Your guitar is just right there, ready to be played. So let's plug this thing in and make sense of all of these knobs. I'm using a custom shop Fender Telecaster with the Virgil Arlo pickups and string joy strings, and I'm plugging it into a Fender Deluxe amplifier. Let's get to working. All right, so let's go see what this pedal can do. Uh, let's start with my clean tone. All right, so let's turn this pedal on. I got a slow, or a really slow attack, uh, a quick release, and uh, the ratio is about four, and I have about maybe 6 dB of a compression with a soft knee. Woo, so you hear what it did there. Uh, the way I have it set it up is I just made it so that the attacks really in your face, really quick decay, so everything's just really punchy and aggressive. For my first setting today, I'm gonna start with the most transparent setting possible. This is for you guys that really just want your sound only with just a little bit of compression just to get rid of those really painful peaks. It's great for those players that play super percussive with those big jabs that you know, really get in your ear and they really, really hurt. Uh, what you can do is you get a nice kind of limiter sound to it. It'll get rid of the big nasty peaks and kind of bring it to level with everything else, yet you still have all the dynamics and all kind of the clarity and touch sensitivity of your normal playing volumes, okay? So the way we're gonna do it is I'm gonna go uh, put the ratio all the way up because I wanna just catch the highs and I wanna just shut them right up. We're gonna do a super cool and super quick attack. The reason why is because I want it to catch it right when I hit that note. Uh, we'll, we'll get a fairly quick release and I'm gonna put the knee on the hard setting. Last but not least, when it comes to the threshold, you want it so that we're only compressing the big notes and we're leaving all of the nice, sweet, touch sensitive stuff right in the bottom. If you dial it in right, you got some beautiful, touch sensitive, funky tones that make sure that all your big punches don't hurt yet at all.
For my second setting, I want to just show you a really beautiful, general, overall kind of set and forget compression tone. It's the, the kind of tone you could just turn on and leave it that way for the whole set and you'll never complain about it whatsoever. Uh, the way we do it is I'm going to just put this onto automatic. So that means the attack and the release knob don't really do anything. This is all set within here. And it really does a great job of listening to what you're doing and kind of compensating for those dynamic kind of changes that you make. I'm going to keep the ratio pretty low between maybe two and three uh, just to give us just a, enough to just beautify. Is that a word? Beautify? the loveliness and the, the kind of notes and the attacks that we're having uh, just kind of adds a nice sponginess kind of flavor to our tone. Uh, so little is being changed that it's just a nice subtle push in the right direction to bring out all the, the fibers in your playing. It's really great to, to, to hear the subtleties in what you're doing and make sure that not just you know it, but the guy in the back of the theater hears it too. All right, last but not least is kind of our classic chicken picking or funk kind of rhythm. They both kind of work in the same kind of setup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the knee soft, uh, give it a nice squishy thing. I'm gonna bring the ratio really high, maybe around 10. Um, I'm gonna give myself a pretty good amount of threshold, maybe to have it hovering around nine, um, and a very quick attack. Uh, if you dial it in right, you got a great mix of funk, a great mix of uh, uh, country. It's just nice and even. Everything's just right there laid out for you, and it sounds fantastic. <laughs> Thank you.